What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna go over everything you need to know about Blur and how to use it like an expert. If you watched my previous videos, you probably got the Blur airdrop. You can claim it right here. If you haven't, a lot has changed from when we reviewed it and when we did tutorials for Blur. So as mentioned, I'm gonna show you how to use every feature on Blur and I'm gonna show you how to stack points for the upcoming airdrop. The front page has changed a lot we have popular collections here, BAYC, Chex, Azuki, Pudgy Penguins. You have trending collections here and you can toggle by top collections. I'm assuming it's by volume. You have more popular connect, uh, collections and then stats about the marketplace, um, you know, testimonials, who's backing it, all that good stuff on the front page. They've also enabled mobile browsing and single asset pages for the NFTs. So they're coming with a lot of changes. They're improving it a lot quicker than other marketplaces like OpenSea. Here's the front page of the collection section. We'll go into the portfolio and then the airdrop. I'll show you how to buy. I'll show you how to sell. I'll show you how to sweep. I'll show you how to deposit into the blur bidding pool so you can start stacking points for the airdrop and then we'll touch on the airdrop section as well. So first of all, here is the collections page. You can come into settings right here and change it from trader to collector. You can also go and change the color theme, light, dark, medium. We're gonna keep it on dark. Um, you can play with a lot of the settings here. You have the price of ETH below. And when we actually get into the collections, you can toggle and change the uh, gas settings as well. So here are collections and they are uh, arranged by volume. So you can see top volume by the day, almost 6,000 ETH for Azuki. Um, you can change it by floor price, you can change it by volume, so you can kind of do a lot of playing around to see uh, what's popping, what, what you want to buy. You can also look at the trending as well, and this is a new feature where you can see the last sales. So this is one minute sales, and there is 28 sales in the last minute, which is crazy. You can see all of the information here, and this one might help you find, you know, collections that are minting out, collections that are being sweeped, and pretty much just trending collections. I'm not sure the, the exact algorithm that they're using to throw these collections in the trending section. And if you wanted to favorite any of the collections that you're looking at, so maybe the standard ones, if we go back to the top daily volume sellers, let's say Azuki, Moonbirds, Bune Ape, um, this one right here, Clonex. So then you can go to favorites and you don't have to toggle or search and look for them. They're just right there. Um, let's dive deeper into portfolio. I'm going to show you guys how to sell, buy, sweep, bid, all of that great stuff. So this is one of my accounts. I have zero points, zero loyalty. I'm not doing much with this account, but we are going to go step by step and I'm gonna show you how to list an NFT and then buy one and then sweep. So if you have uh, a couple of NFTs or one that you're looking to sell, you can see your collection on the left side hand right here and it'll arrange it, um, I believe from the value. So you can see Board Ape Golf Club is the most valuable token uh, NFT I have. I have two of them right here. Here's the floor. As I mentioned, you can switch the view from trader to collector. So this is more like a collector view. You get to see your NFTs. You can also uh, change the view right here. At the top, you can see everything listed, estimated value of this uh, account, my total cost, unrealized PL, and realized uh, profit and loss. So I'll toggle it back to the trader view because that's how I like it. And you can see right here, uh, we're going to list one together. This is the Board Ape Golf Club BAGC right here. We are going to go and list this. You can accept the bid at 0 0.16 but this is worth a lot more. And then when you go to list it, you can actually toggle more marketplaces. So you can list it on many, um, as many as they offer at the same time. You will have to um, accept them all through MetaMask, but you can do it all through Blur. You don't have to go to all these separate marketplaces. You can just come here and do so. So I'm gonna remove these listings actually, and we're gonna just stick on Blur. So you can see my rarity here. You can see the top tree is 10 ETH. You can click floor price, it'll do it automatically. You click top trade, it'll do it automatically. Or you can ladder it. Um, and then you can see the live floor here after the percentage. So the marketplace and royalty fees, this is what you're left with. And we are going to adjust that. So I'm going to sell this for 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 
we're going to pay a 0.5% fee right here because I'm going to be taking a loss on the NFT. I'm about paying cre uh, creator royalties, but I just kind of want to break even here. So we're going to list this item. We'll have to, uh, gas is slightly high at $3.17. And MetaMask has put up a warning now that you are granting access to all your NFTs. So if you're on a marketplace, this is normal. If you're anywhere else, somebody might be trying to see, steal your NFTs if you see this. So we'll approve this for MetaMask, uh, for Blur, I mean. Um, through MetaMask and then after that's done we'll sign the approval and we'll have this listed so as easy as that you can list on multiple marketplaces you can change the royalty and creator fees uh, royalty marketplace fees right here so let's go ahead and sign this so now we have listed this NFT I believe if it was in the top 500 collection and you have it listed uh, as close as to floor, if not floor, you would be earning points. I don't believe I'll be earning points for the airdrop there, but let's go ahead and keep moving forward. So I just showed you guys how to list. Uh, if we go to one of the assets, so let's say Ghost Boy right here, we click on it, you can go ahead and see all the attributes uh, and the rarities right here, all the past activity, you know, all the same stuff you would see on any marketplace, last sale, top bid, the rarity, collector, floor, the owner, me, and then the ID number. Um, and as I mentioned, when you're buying, you can actually switch the gas. So you have it on, let's say, a higher gas, so you're not ever worried about somebody outbidding you. And it's pretty easy to buy. We're gonna go ahead and do that right now. If we go back to the collection floor, you have um, Azuki, Moonbirds, all these are in my favorite actually. We're gonna go ahead and buy something cheap as I only have 0 0.1 in my account. So let's look for something that is cheap, but not a total scam. I actually have one in mind and it's Deviants. They are a mint pass essentially for their upcoming game. You get to purchase uh, this pass and then use it to mint an NFT, uh, I think in like two weeks or so. So as I mentioned, you can switch the view. I like it like this. I get to see more. I get to see uh, them in a list view, especially when it's like the same art and their mint passes. I like to have it in this list type of view right here. I'm gonna go from collect to trade. And then when you're on this page, you can uh, take a look at all the latest activity so you can look at sales, listings, then you have the sales graph right here. You can switch it from 300, seven day, and then one day. And then you have the depth, which is pretty much like a sell wall. You can see that visually, so you can see how much is listed um, and then how much uh, the price will increase if those were to be bought in front of them. So you can see like right here, there's about uh, eight, it says price 0 0.031, average 0 0.03, and that'll cost you a total of 0 0.024. If we move it to here, the price would be 0 0.053, average is 0 0.041, and that'll cost you a total of 0 0.2 to essentially sweep the floor all the way there and or move the floor to that price. It's visual, it's cool to see those. You see those on altcoins on any exchange, you'll see the buy and sell wall, the order book, uh, for a better term and then you have all the attributes on the left here for this specific collection it's just silver so you know what I'm gonna come back here but let's go ahead and click the Zuki floor and you can see like all the different types of attributes this is where you go for all the rare um, ones right here so we'll just click one of the attributes for example I guess the rare ones are arranged from the top down I like that more than open C that actually makes more sense to me so uh, you can see that this is how you can toggle and start looking for more rare or better attributes for those NFTs. So if we go back to the DVN pass, we're going to actually buy one. I will show you how to sweep. It's super easy. Optimize sweep right here. And then you just fling it to the right. I, and then it'll show you the total price 0 0.1. Uh, gas would be expensive on that. You can see it's 59 GUI right here, um, but we're gonna actually come back down and probably just do one or two, uh, and I'll show you guys how to purchase, and then we'll go ahead and go into the bid section. So we will purchase one of these NFTs. You can do it super easily by just clicking this right here, and then boom, bang, you can purchase an NFT. The gas is extremely high at $46. Not sure why it's that high. I think one of the, um, 
I think there's something that's just minted out right now. So this is 0 0.03. That's uh, very cheap, but gas is like almost 5x the price of that. So we'll wait to purchase that. I'm going to go back to collections. Maybe we can move on to bids until that the gas is a lot more um, reasonable. So we have RP DP right here. You can see the total volume is at 272 seven day volume over a thousand we are going to put a bid here you can see the top bid is actually higher than the floor price if we take a look and we have our open sea flags on so you can see the ones that have been like stolen or flagged from open sea if you don't want to purchase one of them then you can actually toggle that right there um and if you don't care then you can leave it on so i want to see them just in case if there's a discrepancy between the floor and the um the marked item if it's big enough maybe it's worth it to buy it and hopefully it's not stolen or in the hands of a scammer or something like that so right here if we go to bids you can see that there's actually 83 separate bids or it could be from the first same person i'll tell you right here actually 12 of 12 separate people a uh, total of 83 bids at 0 0.2 with a total of 16.6 ethereum so the way we're going to do this is if we go to the airdrop page you can see blur season two season one was just the beginning there's a lot more coming season two rewards have not been revealed yet but for the next 30 days all bidding and listing points have been doubled all bidding and listing points are doubled until for one so we actually have all of march and then you can see uh at the leaderboard right here and i believe they had like an idea map it's straight at the top here so the leaderboard matchy of course big brother uh just crushing it wash trading whatever you want to call it so this is the idea map the season two com uh, community idea map and rewards Blur's season two has now begun. The reward campaign has not been revealed, but you can start bidding and listing to get a head start on season two rewards. So you can see loyalty rewards here, redacted, F switch. They have so much coming um, that, you know, I'm not sure what they're doing. Maybe they'll allow you to start staking the token. Maybe they have collections that are going to be launched right on Blur like OpenSea does. Blur has literally taken majority of the volume in NFT marketplace sales. And the way they've gamified it is very smart. A lot of people are salty uh, and not too happy about what Blur is doing because they think it'll end um, very badly after all this uh all of the inflated bids are gone and not much volume or demand will be there anymore if there isn't the incentive to actually um you know have bids up or buying nfts so let's go back to rpdp right here 0 0.19 um and the top bid is 0 0.2 if we go to bids we have to create a place a collection bid but before we do that we need to deposit into blur's pool so if we go ahead and deposit into Blur's pool, I probably won't have enough for gas to send the whole thing because gas is outrageous right now, but we're gonna send 0 0.05 and let's go ahead and do that. So confirm, and now I have deposited 0 0.05 to the Blur uh, pool. So now I'm good to go to place the collection bid if my Blur, uh, if my Ethereum has made it there. So we're gonna wait for that transaction to go through. All right, you can see the transaction has confirmed, deposit to blur pool. We come back to place collection bid, and then you can see my bid is 0 0.05 and a quantity of one, cause that's all I have. So let's go ahead and place that and you're just gonna to have to sign a request and there you have it, my bid 0 0.05. Maybe I'll start earning points. The way you're gonna earn points is if you're the first bid, closest to floor and that's how you're going to stack bids you can also put bids on as many collections as you want with that same 0 0.05 so if we go back to this collection right here let's even try moonbirds you have bids we're going to place our bid 0 0.05 and we're going to place that bid imagine getting a moonbird for 0 0.05 i mean there's a ton of bids to get to before it gets to me but there you have it 0 0.05 you actually have 93 bidders there i'm not sure how many points we'll get but you see the 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 strategy for this you're gonna go through all of the i guess qualified collections and start putting bids on them 
And you know, if you're familiar with the collections, for and if you have that eighth, for example, Azuki, it's at 14.643, and the top bid's at 14.56. I know a bunch of them, about 87 just got dumped. Um, but you can see, you can put them in a safer area. So there's one bid that's the highest, and then there's another one, and then there's 10 right here, 145 ETH, 217 ETH, and then 10,000 ETH for 707 Azukis at 14.52. So uh, it's more than likely that you know, your bid is not going to get hit unless somebody pulls liquidity while a bunch of Azukis are being sold, but you can stack it on top of here. If you're the first bid and there's only like a size of one, if it's just you, I'd say more than likely you're going to end up purchasing that NFT and then you can list it for floor in an hour and then just keep uh, doing that if you don't mind losing a little bit on the fees. Um, I am not like bidding a ton of ETH on these type of collections uh, and being the first in line to earn a few points. I don't, I personally don't see the vol value there. I was doing a little bit of that during uh before the airdrop but now it's there's so much speculation and there's so many people trying to earn and farm these points um i don't think it'll be worth it as as much as, as it was for the first airdrop i could be totally wrong and i wouldn't say to fade this completely but you just want to be careful you don't want to be stuck with a bunch of nfts because you were just the highest bidder so you can come into your collections into your page right here go to bids and then view your bids just in case you wanted to cancel them and then like i mentioned just go to hundreds of collections if you want and start putting in that same bid you can put the same bid i mean the same eth on as many collections as you want and if that bid gets accepted um then it wouldn't be valid for the other collections your order would be filled in a sense so that's pretty much it for blur i went over how to buy how to sell how to list how to list on multiple exchanges how to go through collections um add to your favorites look through trending collections you know how to sweep the floor if you wanted to just ape in very easy to do so how to add your eth to the blur pool and then I like that when you sweep, actually, it shows you how far you're going to push the price up. So they've done an awesome job with blur. Um, I use it a ton. I also use OpenSea. I don't discriminate. Uh, they both have their pluses and, uh, you know, their positives and negatives. But that's pretty much everything. How to air, how to start farming for the airdrop, cancel orders, all that, all that great stuff. So if you guys enjoy this. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Took a little bit of uh, time off from trading, but we're still hitting NFTs every day. Make sure to join the Discord if you want to join a like-minded free community. I'll see you guys in the next video.